Good evening, everyone. I'm Kimberly Keggy. A first tonight, now an ongoing breaking news alert as the hunt for a man accused of opening fire on I-75 in southeastern Kentucky. Uh, the search has been ongoing since Saturday in Laurel County when a gunman fired an AR-15 at drivers hitting 12 vehicles and injuring more than five, five people. Uh, they believe the gunman to be the man on your screen you see there, uh, Joseph Couch. This video from state police searching from the air showing just how much law enforcement has to cover in that search. And tonight, WSAZ's Luke Hamilton reports on how officers are expanding their search for the gunman after finding his car and weapon near the scene. Moments of chaos unfolding on I-75 near London, Kentucky Saturday evening as multiple called 911 as shots rang out. There's a lady throw up behind me here. She got shot too. Can you tell if anybody is? She, yes, she got shot through the door here too. Are you okay? A multi-agency manhunt is underway for Joseph Couch. Couch legally purchased the AR-15 rifle on Saturday, just hours before he allegedly shot 30 rounds into a dozen cars injuring five people along I-75. Yeah, someone just shot at us. Uh, I have a hole through my door. We're not hit. It went through my grandpa's other window. Deputies believe Couch was not shooting from his vehicle, but rather off a Forest Service road and walked to the interstate. Police found the AR-15 in the area, along with several fully charged magazines. The gun, they believe, was used in Saturday's mass shooting. One man says a broken brake line may have saved his life comes running through the intersection right into the lot where we're at behind my trailer. Had I not broke a brake line, we would have been on the interstate as he was shooting. Trooper Scotty Pennington says it's been like playing a game of hide and seek, using drones, helicopters, and technology from outside agencies to find couch. It's not like going to a football field and trying to find somebody behind the bleachers. We're in the Daniel Bune National Forest, and this is thousands and thousands of acres and I stated last night it's kind of like a jungle well it is like a jungle trooper Pennington says they have been searching in groups and they will expand the search area if needed we hope that he's still in that area we hope that we've got him contained but we all know they don't always end that way law enforcement says this was not a road rage situation however a motive has not been determined officers say all victims are expected to make a full recovery Luke Hamilton, WSAZ, Laurel County. A $15,000 reward is being offered to anyone with information that leads to Couch's arrest. He's now been entered into a national criminal records database, so if he's found in another state, he will then be arrested.